You played, dare I say in this room, Macbeth. No, I played Macbeth before in high school. Ah. I directed a modern dress Macbeth for them. Right, and how was that? Exciting. Were there any yeah. superstitious occurrences? I'll oh, yes. In I the context still, of which the... the oh, the, definitely. The, no, no, I still bear a scar on my... You can't see it on the camera, but <laughs> I had an 11-inch uh, stitching job done when I said lay on Macduff, and he did. I, uh, I think, but for the wig, I probably wouldn't be here now. This was, was the high school production. Of, her, of horses hair. But this I was think. the high school production. Uh, yes. Well, surely yeah. as a director, the Macbeth didn't hit oh, you with the No, as a director, I, yes. That, oh, there was a, a famous one directing when um, uh, Lloyd Bachner was playing Macduff in it. And, uh, and the first scene, uh, uh, just before his first scene in England, after he's run from Scotland, trying to gather the British forces to go back and attack Macbeth, there comes the last of the witches' scenes with the famous cauldron. And I had this, the cauldron beautifully contrived with a, a hot plate at the bottom so that each time one of them dropped in a little pinch of a chemical, it went like this lovely effect. And the chemical was seated in the, the bottom half of the tobacco tin, ready to go on. Uh, but on the opening night, and Bachner still tells this story. Um, what happened was that the witches came on. They brought, they brought the cauldron on. Everything was there, only the chemical was sitting inside the tin on top of the hot plate. So when the hot plate was turned on, the whole thing went Phew! and filled the theater with smoke. So the following scene in England, <laughs> There was such a fog as London <laughs> never experienced. <laughs> yeah, that was a great opening night.